everybody. Welcome to Stack Tracking for Las Vegas. Three races this weekend, a triple header. So we're going to look back at the fall races for the Xfinity and Cup Series from last year and the spring race for the Truck Series at Las Vegas last year because those all, uh, all are the most recent races for those three series at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We're going to start off with the stage and race results here, the stage winners, and then the race results for the Truck Series race, which is the Victoria's Voice Foundation 200. Um, gonna be a fun one on Friday night. Kyle Busch is in this race. Um, I'm not gonna give him a pick yet, but he is very high on my board. Ben Rhodes won at stage one last year. He also won stage two, and something to note is that in stage two, the top four were all Toyotas. Toyota, obviously Kyle Busch Motorsports, but also Thor Sport were all very strong here last year, but it was not Ben Rhodes who won. It was Chandler Smith who beat out the boss, Kyle Busch, with an epic crossover move to take the win. Now, he's not in this race. He's graduated. He's in the Xfinity Series now. Kyle Busch did finish second in this race a year ago. If I'm willing to bet, he remembers that. So it was Chandler Smith who won, then Kyle Busch, then Stuart Friesen, so the top two in stage one, Toyotas. The top four in stage two, Toyotas. The top three in the race, Toyotas. Then you have a couple, couple of Fords making appearance, uh, appearances. You have the 17 of Ryan Priest and the 15 of Tanner Gray. He was top five. Matt Benedetto finished sixth. Matt Crafton, another Thor Sport truck, another Toyota, ended up seventh. Brett Holmes and Austin Wayne South, both with really good runs in this race. You also had Ty Majeski then round out the top ten. Some big names outside of that top 10. Carson Hosevar in 13th. Chase Purdy, who now drives for Kyle Busch Motorsports in 14th. Tyler Anker in 16th. Um, John Hunter Nemechek only ended up 25th. He's obviously graduated these fifth series as well. Christian Eckes and Ben Rhodes were both caught up in incidents, as were Haley Deegan and Zane Smith. Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. No. Chandler Smith beat out Zane Smith last year, but I remember now it was lug nuts. It was a lug nut issue on Zane Smith. Um, or he got DQ'd. Maybe it wasn't lug nuts. He got DQ'd regardless, and he was credited with the last. So I think he had 19 top 10s last year. It really should have been 20, uh, but that Las Vegas race, he got penalized. He drove a great race, but unfortunately for him, it didn't really matter. If we're looking at a team to watch, I know Jack Wood and Chase Purdy aren't the most electrifying team. They were all right at Daytona, but just adding Kyle Busch to your lineup elevates it so much. I think KBM has to be the team to watch. As for a manufacturer, you add Kyle Busch to the lineup. Um, or so, no, no, no. As for manufacturer, KBM's a Chevy now. I, I, I'm, I'm still going to give it to Toyota. Um, they have Thor Sport. Or no, they don't have Thor Sport. No, because they're Fords now. Chevy or Ford? I'm going to go Ford. Yeah, because they also have Zane Smith, um, Kyle Busch, just one driver is not going to do it for Chevrolet. There aren't any other huge Chevrolet teams. Maybe Matty D, he was sixth here, but yeah. Um, yeah. So let's go now look at the 2022 fall race at Las Vegas for the NASCAR Xfinity Series, which I know Barry won it in 2021, filling in for Michael and Nett. Did he win it in 2022 as well? Was that the race where he locked himself in, or was that Homestead? Um, I can't remember. I'll have to see. This race is going to be 300 miles long. Cup Series 400 miles long. Truck Series 200 miles long. Look at all the points standing in the weekend schedule and the respective pre-race shows, which will all start tomorrow. So, the Fall Las Vegas race winner one year ago... Um, my, 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 was, mm, it was Josh Berry, okay. Uh, they actually ran 302 miles in this race, um, the fall race. Let's look at the stage winners and the race results. Wow, three JRM cars in the top three, three Chevys in the top three before a couple of JGR cars there of Ty Gibbs and Trevor Bain, respectively. Stage one was won by Ty Gibbs. Obviously, he's in the Cup Series now. But keep an eye out. Toyota really fast uh, last night in the Xfinity race. John Hunter Nemechek won the, won the race. We had Sammy Smith, who was a contender late until he spun. Noah Gregson took away stage two over Gibbs and Brandon Jones. And then Josh Berry won the race with Noah Gregson coming in just behind him. And then Justin Allgaier in third. Then it was Gibbs and Bain, fourth and fifth. Austin Hill in sixth. 
Sam Mayer in 7th, Daniel Hemrick in 8th, Brandon Jones in ninth, and Fast Pasta, Anthony Alfredo, rounded out the top 10. As for some notable names outside the top 10, uh, yeah, Jeremy Clements, John Hunter Nemechek, especially Nemechek is going to be one of them, Jeb Burton, Riley Herbst, um, Rajah Karuth, uh, 16 car, and A.J. Allmendinger was, was 22nd. I know it's a different driver now with Chandler Smith. Um, but that could be big. Sheldon Creed and Ryan C as well also were outside. If I'm going to pick a team um, that that I think is is going to be you know team to watch, probably yeah, J, it's got to be JRM man. It's got to be JRM. You know that 19 car is kind of a rotating door for JGR now, and I don't know if whoever they stick in it this week is going to be enough. Um, even with a guy in Nemechek whose average finish is 1.5 through two races, and, and Sammy Smith is improving each and every week, but um, I, I don't know um, how, how well that 18 car will run. Um, I know Kyle Busch is in the Xfinity race as well. He's going to be running 900 miles of racing. Um, he's, he's in the tent for calling, so that's big. Um, but team to watch, JRM, manufacturer, Chevy. You add in Kyle Busch, absolutely. Um, and now for the Cup Series race, the fall race. Remember, this is the race where Bubba Wallace got suspended for wrecking Kyle Larson. Joey Logano wanted to punch his ticket to the championship four, and that race was pivotal, and, and him winning the championship, giving him extra time to prepare. So we'll go through the stage winners. Oh, Bubba won stage one? What? I forgot that. I, I completely forgot that that happened. Um, he was running, like, top 15 here in the spring of last year before he, Eric Jones wrecked. He was collected in that. Eric Jones is a dark horse. is what to watch out for. He was in the top 10 with a few laps to go. I completely forgot that Bubba won stage one in this race, though. Okay, as a Bubba fan, that makes me feel a little better about it. Bowman's always up front here, so as a Bowman fan, I'm not too worried about him. But, hey, Bubba Wallace, last time they were in Vegas, obviously his suspension and the, the idiotic move on Larson obviously puts a damper on it. But still, um, he won stage one. Yeah, followed by Logano, then Blaney won stage two, so the Penty Fords were really good, as was Trackhouse. Uh, but the race winner was Joey Logano. Then you have a mixed bag of guys at the front. The race winner was Joey Logano, followed by Ross Chastain, who was really fast in this race. Then you had Kyle Busch, who home track, a lot of momentum coming off the win. They've been fast every race this year. Kyle Busch is definitely on my watch list this week um, uh, for my race win pick. Then you have Chase Abriscoe. Uh, Denny Hamlin rounding out the top five. You have Reddick, Truex, Jones. Almondinger was ninth, so keep an eye on that full time this year. And Austin Dillon was tenth. Noah Gregson, I believe, with his best Cup Series finish of eleventh in this race. I don't know if that's right on it being his best finish, but this is when he was filling in for Bowman. You had Harvick twelfth, then Byron, Haley, Busher, Suarez, Kozlowski, Amarola, McDowell, uh, and Custer rounding out the top twenty. Ryan Priest in that forty one this year, obviously not Cole Custer. Then it was Chase Elliott, Ty Gibbs, Senhouse, LaJoy, Gillen, Burton, Ware, Blaney. Looks like Blaney and Cedric had some issues. Um, BJ McLeod, JG, Landon Castle, Ty Dillon, Christopher Bell, uh, and Kyle Larson. They were involved in that incident. And then Bubba, obviously, um, as the catalyst for all that. If I'm looking at a manufacturer to watch, um, it's really tough because, I mean, Ford only had one car in the top 11. That was Chase Briscoe. So I, there are two, sorry, with the win of Logano. Manufacturer to watch is tough, though. The Pepsi cars always seem to run well at Vegas. Hendrick's always good at all the intermediates. You have Toyota with how well Bubba ran here last year, with how fast Hamlin is everywhere. Um, as for a manufacturer, though, I'm going to go Ford. I just think Legato and Blaney are going to be really fast. Look out for Cindric as well. Um, and then you also have, you know, Kevin Harvick, Chase Briscoe that ran, you know, decent here last year. Um, I'm going to go with them. As for a team to watch, though, um, it's only a two-car team, but you can't not say RCR. I didn't pick Chevy as a manufacturer just because not all their teams right now are firing on all cylinders. Um, but I think RCR, Dylan got a top 10 here last year. He was ninth in California. He has some momentum. Kyle Busch, obviously. I mean, they deserve a lot better. They deserve to finish a lot better than they did. Their, they probably win their Daytona duel without Suarez wrecking them. They might. They win the Daytona 500. They were leading at lot five or at lot 200. They were leading at the 500th mile. They've just been so fast everywhere. It's a home track. Unless something goes terribly wrong, he gets stumped and engine blows. Kyle Busch is going to be there at the end. Um, 
but you also have to look at, you know, Bowman, who won this race a year ago. He was up front in 2020 before Greg Ives made a pretty terrible pit call, as was Blaney in that race. Joey Logano's won here multiple times. Uh, Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson, William Byron, and always up front here. This is one of those drivers' racetracks where the top of the, the, you know, the guys that always make the playoffs, that are always winning races, that are always winning championships, really rise to the top, and I think that's what will happen on Sunday. So stay tuned for po uh, uh, sorry pre-race shows all week long, um, post-race show, and that schedule is going to be a little hectic. It's going to be a hectic week, but uh, look out for a pre-race show like uh, podcast probably by myself tomorrow, and then uh, with Emily, the podcast below the yellow line, same podcast, but you know having her on again uh, to discuss this past weekend's race and to discuss Vegas, uh, which is coincidentally her favorite track. So. Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Go check out the Below the Yellow Line podcast on all major podcast platforms. Thank you all so much for watching. I am Samuel Stubbs on the Spider Sam YouTube page. God bless. Peace out. Bye and subscribe.